Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks and in today's lesson I'm going to introduce you to array formulas in Excel. I can think of two immediate benefits when we work with an array formula. Number one, array formulas will in many cases speed up the creation of your formulas by eliminating intermediate calculations. And number two, array formulas will add automatically a certain level of protection to the formulas in your worksheet. All right, let's begin this lesson by responding to a challenge. Our challenge is to create with one formula a total value for all the products sold. So instead of coming through and creating an additional field to perform an intermediate calculation, which would be quantity multiplied by price for each of the items and then totaling them up, with one formula, we can create a total first by using the sum product function and then by using or creating an array formula. So let's begin with the sum product. Let's say equals sum product and let's use the function arguments dialog box. Now there are three terms that we need to become familiar with with sum product. First is the sum which we know performs addition. Product is a function that performs multiplication. And then we have an array. For our purposes an array is a range of cells that we're going to be working with collectively rather than individually. So here's our first array. It's the range of cells for the quantity for each of the products. Our second array is going to be a range of cells for the unit price for each of the products. Now it's important when we work with arrays that they match the orientation and the dimension. So in this case the orientation is that both of the arrays are vertically oriented and both contain the same dimensions. They contain cells from row 4 through row 14. That's extremely important in working with both sum product as well as an array formula. So now with one formula using sum product we first multiplied each of the cells in the array and then we added together that product. So instead of coming through here and saying either equals unit uh, quantity multiplied by unit price, we could have also used the product function in there to say equals product and then just select the two cells in our range to multiply. Of course then we'd have to copy it down and then we would use the sum function to add up the product of each of those calculations. So you see we can avoid that intermediate step when we use a sum product and now I'll demonstrate how we can do the same with an array formula. So we're going to create an array formula but first what we want to do is make sure that we have the ranges that are lined up. So in this case we're going to say equals the sum and now let's select the ranges for our array. So select the cells in the first range and then what we want to do is say multiply this or use the asterisk and then select the cells for the second range. And now when we add our right parentheses don't be tempted to hit enter. I guarantee you if you hit enter you'll get an error message. I guarantee that if you press control enter you'll get an error message. So when we work with array formulas we must use this keyboard combination control shift enter and many people remember that by CSE. Now I'm not going to click up here in the formula bar but notice that when I use control shift enter for an array formula Excel automatically adds a left brace and a right brace. Now that's the first clue that we're working with an array formula. Now what I could do over here is rather than saying equals the product and then copying down I could create an array formula over here. Now the first gotcha step is to make sure that you select all of the cells that you're going to perform your array formula on. So we first select the cells that will receive the uh, result of our array formula equals and then we'll select our first array 
we'll use the asterisk to say multiply that first range by the second range or the second array and again make sure that they match up so in this case what we want to do when we press control shift enter you're going to see the result in all of the cells and also notice that each of the cells contains the same formula equals E4 through E14 multiplied by F4 through F14. So regardless of the cell that you click in here, each contains the same formula. Notice again up here in the formula bar the left and the right uh, curly brace that we're added. Now the level of protection we'll see here that if I try to insert a row inside the cells that contain an array you see I get an error message that I cannot change part of an array. If I try to delete an individual cell I get that same error message. If I try to type in a value 13120 I'm gonna get that same error message. So this is a level of protection that we have. If we need to edit our formulas that contain an array formula, we select the entire range, delete it, and then begin over, or I'll use Control Z to undo that, or we could come up here in the in the range of cells, press the F2 keyboard shortcut to edit inside the cell. Then what we would want to do is use Control Enter to turn that into a, a, a formula that we could work with. So in this case, if we needed to edit it to extend the range, in other words, down through row 15 in the formula, then we could do the editing up there. But again, remember to use Control Shift enter to get that result copied down. So now you see that we've extended that range down to row 14, uh, row 15. All right, I'll do control Z to undo that. So to summarize array formulas, first you want to make sure that you select the range of cells to contain the array formula. That's extremely important as I showed you back here. We selected the range first before we wrote the array formula. Next, we want to make sure that the arrays that we're using in the formula are of equal size. So we want to make sure that, number one, they're oriented the same way vertically and that they will contain the same number of cells. Then, when we go to enter an array formula, remember to use this keyboard shortcut, Control shift enter Many people remember it by saying it's a CSE formula, Control shift enter CSE. And also remember that you get a level of protection with an array formula because you cannot edit the individual cells. You must edit the entire range of cells. So there you've learned how to work with array formulas and also how similar it is to the sum product function for creating with one formula a total for all of the products that we sold in a range. And I'll look for you in the next lesson.